Hello friends, those back pages here with a day four. Yes, day four recap of the 2022 National. I'm extremely tired and the sads are setting in. I would say 90 plus percent of my friends have already gotten home or in the process of getting home at the time of this recording. I cannot believe there's only one day left in the show and it's Sunday. We don't know what Sunday is going to bring, but I do hope I get to see at least a few of my friends one last time before it's 51 weeks until I'll see you in Chicago. I forgot to show this, I think I forgot to show this off the other day. While I was walking around, I saw one of the non-corporate wax sellers had some blasters out and it had $10 on this 2122 20, Opeachy hockey blaster. So I figured, you know what, nine packs, $10, got a little crushed but in my bag, but 10 bucks, like the old days at the show at the National when stuff that didn't sell got marked down. So maybe we'll see some of that tomorrow, okay? I guess the one positive is I do have the card. So, it will, um, might come in handy, we'll see. Um, so yeah, the show, very crowded. Um, probably about as crowded as it was last year at Saturdays last year. Last year's Saturday. A little mumbly, I apologize. Over the course of the National, you know, from Wednesday through the weekend, dealers' inventory changes. They're buying, they're selling stuff, they're buying new stuff from people walking around. So you never know what you're going to see. So I, I didn't, doesn't really, didn't really apply today. I, I did a lot of walking around, obviously, and I, I saw a lot of friends and, you know, I had a really deep conversations with a few of you and I appreciate what you shared. It means a lot to me. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for your support. So, you know, I was looking for, today I was looking for playing days, big train, Cy Young, some nice funky MJs, Wayne Gretzky, and some Connor McDavid. A couple of young guns as well, but I didn't see them all week. I'm not expecting to see them tomorrow. So they had a trade night tonight. Stay tuned. I took some footage of that. Stay tuned later in tonight's episode. So I picked up Let's see. Walking around, I actually found one dealer that had, you know, a box of hockey. Well, boxes, like monster boxes broken down by player. Hadn't seen that table before today. Very happy I was able to discover that table because I added this really, really nice Opeachy foil league leaders. Connor McDavid to my collection. They're not numbered, but they are tough to locate. Next up, a EPAC achievement card. And I am far too tired to try to even <laughs> go about explaining how that works right now. 
So I'm going to show the card. And, you know, down the line, I promise I will do my best to explain what it means. But it's just, if you love Upper Deck, and you love the history of Upper Deck, this this particular photo is going to bring back a lot of memories. Well, this, well, not the photo itself, but you'll see. It's from 2019 EPAC, Upper Deck EPAC. It is the achievement card featuring Connor McDavid and Wayne Gretzky. So you can see the, the far right, the two photos of Gretzky, following it, right, leading right into the two pictures on the left of McDavid, and it kind of makes one, one fluid motion, the two of them. So I was able to add that to the collection today. There's the back. Very happy to have that. Saw that today, picked it up. Wasn't planning on it, but it's like I said many times now. You walk around, you see stuff. You see stuff you haven't seen. If something catches your eye, you try not to knock over the camera. The last pickup of the day is a just a fantastic card. And shout out to JT, Triple Crown 24. Who, uh, we were able to uh, bundle a bunch of stuff together and I was able to bring this home and uh, yeah again went into the show not planning on it but here it is it is from 2015 Opeachy Platinum Connor McDavid the tracks parallel just a super Super shiny card. Mega. It actually does look like the Mega pattern, doesn't it? You know, going. Looks like the Bowman Mega. So, yes. Very happy to have that in the collection. In a fine nine. Just shines real well. Especially off camera. So there you have it. Tonight's recap. Trade night was uh, absolutely bonkers. Great to see lots of kids, lots of adults, collectors all around, buying, selling, trading. Stay tuned now for that. Tomorrow's recap, uh, we'll see. I have a long drive home after the show and uh, we'll play it by year. But until next time, I just wanted to say thank you for all of your support. It really does mean a lot to me. All right. About 7.30, I think, yeah.
the legendary Mike O in action. So, I mean, I've had it in a box for a very long time, you know? Drama? Great rookie! Great rookie here! Drama! Oh, yeah. Let me stop filming. Yeah.